Welcome to the Defeating Epilepsy Foundation YouTube channel. In this presentation, we will discuss what Vigabatrin is, the history of Vigabatrin, how Vigabatrin works, side effects, and risk. Make sure to like our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell to be notified of future videos. Please click on our donate link in the description section below and donate today. Your donation helps us to make a difference for those battling epilepsy. We appreciate your support. This presentation is for educational purposes only. Any questions you have regarding your current medication, changes, or any level of treatment, please contact your physician for any medical advice. The Defeating Epilepsy Foundation provides only educational resources and will not provide any medical advice when it comes to medication or treatment. According to Mayo Clinic, Vigabatrin is an anticonvulsant that is used alone or together with other medications to treat refractory complex partial seizures in adults and children two years of age and older and infantile spasms in children. According to PubChem, Vigabatrin is an analog of gamma aminobutyric acid, the main inhibitory neurotransmitter in the central nervous system used in the treatment of refractory seizures and infantile spasms. Vigabatrin is also known as Sabriel. Vigabatrin was first introduced as an anti-epileptic agent in the United Kingdom in 1989 and was used extensively until 1997 when an association with vision loss became apparent. It is now used for patients who have failed alternative therapies. It was approved by the FDA in 2009 and a creation of a drug registry was mandated to monitor patients for visual defects. Vigabatrin irreversibly inhibits the enzyme responsible for GABA metabolism, increasing levels of circulating GABA. The increase in GABA functions as a break and the excitatory processes that can initiate seizure activity. Side effects of Vigabatrin include sleepiness, dizziness, uncontrollable shaking of a part of the body, weakness, joint or muscle pain, problems walking or feeling uncoordinated, memory problems and not thinking clearly, weight gain, swelling of the hands, feet, ankles or lower legs, or pain, burning, or tingling in the hands or feet. Additional side effects are fever, irritability, diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, constipation, stomach pain, heartburn, or severely painful cramps and menstrual period. Call your doctor immediately if you experience the following side effects. Confusion, tiredness, pale skin, fast heartbeat, difficulty breathing, hives, or itching. Contact your doctor if you experience the following. Signs of permanent vision loss, risk of suicidal thoughts or actions, sudden withdrawal that can lead to status epileptis, increase in seizures, weight gain without swelling, anemia, nerve problems, or swelling. In conclusion, Vigabatrin is an anticonvulsant that is used alone or together with other medications to treat refractory complex partial seizures in adults and children two years of age and older and infantile spasms in children. Vigabatrin irreversibly inhibits the enzyme responsible for GABA metabolism, increasing levels of circulating GABA. The increase in GABA functions as a break on the excitatory processes that can initiate seizure activity. Let your doctor know about any side effects you are experiencing. Do not make any changes to your medication without consulting your doctor first. To learn more about Vigabatrin, please check out the resources used in the presentation today. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media pages. We would love to hear from you. Leave a comment below or email us at info at 
Thank you for your support, and together we will defeat epilepsy. Check out our other great videos and subscribe today. You have the power to defeat epilepsy.